Hey, today I'm going to show you how I uh, painted a Studio Ghibli style tree in Photoshop. So I started by opening up this image of from Spirited Away and I created a color palette from the colors in the image. And then I found some other reference images of a tree and some bushes, kind of the style I wanted to create. And from there I created a sketch and then I created the basic shape of the tree. And then I started painting using the darkest value and then moving up, painting over that with the lighter values. And you don't have to be too careful when you're painting. Just uh, paint by, you know, putting in some strokes that kind of fit the shape of the branch or the, or the tree. And then you can use all your brush strokes to create the texture of the bark, the grain of the bark. And, um, you know, there's really no mistakes. You can just go back in there with, with a darker color and add some darker color for some holes and scratches and some lighter colors for some highlights and also to add more definition to the grain of the wood. and use your brush strokes to create the volume of the tree. And I also added some highlights of light coming through and hitting the, the tree. Then I painted the back side of the leaves of the tree. You can use the eraser to create some holes in the leaves, some areas where light is gonna be coming through. And I didn't record myself uh, painting the leaves, but I'm gonna show you how to create a, a brush for the leaves. And then uh, on the trunk, I also created another clipping mask to, to add a little bit more shadow. And to create the leaves in the canopy, um, you're going to want to create your own custom brush. So to create the custom brush, um, create a new image, 50 by 50 pixels. And um, the shape I got from uh, at, Keithy, at Keithy Arts. It's kind of like a triangular shaped leaf. So draw that triangular shape leaf and then save that as a brush preset. And then find your, your brush. And once you've found your brush, enable scattering. And then rotate the brush while you're painting to change the direction of the leaves. And use the pen pressure for the size of the leaves and for the opacity. Let me know if you have any questions about the steps for creating this tree. Uh, thanks for watching.